All right. I need to ask you a serious question right now. How many times have you entered a trade that went in your direction, but only after stopping you out first? You know, I can imagine it's probably happened more than once because I know it did to me. You know, you see a nice setup, a nice move down here, nice run up to the 50%, 618 area, nice consolidation channel, breakout, you enter. It does go in your direction a little bit, but then moves strongly, takes you out, and then goes down, hits exactly where you wanted it to go. It's super frustrating. It's happened to me countless times. So I had to come up with something. I had to come up with something that, you know, helped keep me in this trade, helped reduce my risk, and maximize gains. And I'm going to show you that. So we're going to scrap this and go back to the drawing board. All right. So in this example, we have a nice structure level here, nice little bounce up, came back down, bounced again. So we got a nice support right here, broke through, turned resistance. So now we're retesting that zone. All right. So yeah, we want to enter right here, but you know, most traders, they're looking at entering one position, either it goes in their direction or it doesn't. All right. And you know, that there, it, it works if your analysis is perfect. All right. If you struggle with getting in to a position and it moving against you a little bit, and it doesn't always go in your direction, like these sniper entries, everyone talks about nowadays, you know, they're, they're hard to get. <laughs> The, the, everyone says it's easy, but let's be honest. Let's be honest. Trades go against you. They, they just do. Like, the amount of times you're going to get that perfect entry point every single time. Come on. Stop this. Anyway, most traders, they're looking at trading one to one, two to one, whatever it is, but let's say we're a one lot trader. All right. So we're going to enter our first position right here. We're going to have our stops above this high here, not this high here. And why are we doing that? Well, down here, this is our ATR. All right. This is our average true range set at 30 pips on our four hour chart. So instead of going at our previous high, which a lot of people talk about, well, put your stops above the previous high. All right, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna use our ATR. You can use a one, uh, one and a half times your ATR. You can use whatever you want. However, you want to know what is your average true range. That way you do not get stopped out of the trade and you live to fight another day. All right. So your average trade, you're going to be looking at taking this 40 pips target, 30 pips stop loss, and you're trading one lot based on your position sizing, your risk management, and the percentage of your account. However, we don't want to do that no more, right? We want to reduce that risk because this is $300, right? $300 loss, $400 profit. We want to reduce the amount of risk we're taking, maximize our gains. So what we're going to do, we're going to break this down and give ourselves four entry points, which we're going to set limit orders, all right, we're going to set sell orders strategically as price moves against us, if it moves against us. All right, I'm going to show you these numbers after, but for now, we're just going to look at how we're going to enter. All right, so 
our first position, instead of being one full lot, we're going to trade 0.25 lot, 25,000 units. All right. So now our next position based on 30 pips is going to be seven and a half pips above that. So now instead of risking 30 pips on one full lot, we're risking 30 pips on 0.2 lot. We're risking 22 and a half pips on another 0.25 lot. All right. And then our next position right up here is going to be a 15 pip stop loss with a 55 pip target. And finally, our fourth position, seven and a half pip stop loss, 62 and a half pip target. All right. So now that's going to be our trade. We're going to have one position here, two here, three here, four here. If it goes in our direction right away, cool. We're in it. All right. Yeah, we didn't take as much profit as we could have if we traded one full lot. However, we reduced the amount of risk we are taking on this trade. All right. And that is crucial in trading. You want to protect your capital by any means necessary. All right. If it goes in your direction for 0.25 lot, 25,000 units, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Let's say it goes up and only hits your second entry, and now you're trading half a lot and it hits your target. Cool. We just made a profitable trade. However, let's say it does go all the way up to here and enters all your four positions. Now you're trading a full lot, but you have separate entry points. So now you averaged down your position, reduced the amount of risk you're taking on the trade, right? But maximized your gains. So now let's look at some numbers. So your stop loss on one full lot, like I mentioned, $300. If you entered here, it's $300, but your profit would have been 400, all right? So now, let's say you did it the new way, the way I'm teaching you right now, and you traded 0.25 lot with 25,000 units. Your first position, your stop loss would be 75 pips. Your second position would be 56 and a quarter. Third position, 37 and a half. And now your fourth position, 18 and three quarters for a total loss of eight 187 and 50 cents. All right, so now you just reduced your risk by a hundred and twelve dollars and fifty cents. All right, so same distance, same 30 pips, but you reduced your risk, the amount of capital you are preserving is now greater all right now let's look at our take profit originally on a single position we would have been profiting four hundred dollars however if we trade the four positions strategically our first position will be a hundred dollars our second position will be 118 and three quarters. Third position, 137 and a half. Fourth position, 156 and a quarter for a total gain now of 512 and 50 cents. So we now increased our potential profit by $112, reduced our risk by the same amount of $112. All right, so now you see the potential that this strategy has. All right, so now let's look at a quick example here. This is how it should end up on a chart. Let's reveal this here. This same exact trade that we looked at earlier, 
that stopped us out because we set our stop loss right here. We managed to enter all four of those positions, putting our stop loss above these highs here rather than our most recent highs. All right. Our first entry was here. Second entry was right here. Third entry right there. And finally, our fourth entry right there. And then price went all the way into our direction. And we just made $512 rather than $400. All right. So practice it. Get to know it. You know, try it out in demo. Do what you got to do. But I'm telling you, those sniper entries that everyone talks about, man, I don't know what it is. I, I don't even know what to say about it, to be honest. I don't know why you would even try it because those small stop losses that people be using, you're just asking for trouble. You are asking for someone to take your money. Like, stop it. Do something that will actually work long term. All right, try this out. Let me know how it goes. You know, let me know in the comments below how it works for you. And yeah, hopefully this actually helps you and you can use this long term to create consistent income in these markets. All right. Anyway, if you gain value from this video, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel for more. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Happy trading.